Today's video is sponsored by Gameflip. Gameflip is a safe and transparent marketplace for gamers to buy anything gaming related. Gameflip is sponsoring a giveaway for a $100 iTunes or Google Play gift cards. Enter by downloading the app and registering with code PROMOS. See the link in the description for more information. Get discounts on the Poke coins that you need for Pokemon Go by purchasing iTunes or Google Play gift cards at up to 20% off on Gameflip, a trusted marketplace with over 1 million members, now with a mobile app as well. I find it fitting that I'm promoting Gameflip for this video because it segues really well into this new story as Pokemon Go players file complainants with the FTC over the amount of money they spent on Pokemon Go because they were unaware of what was happening with Pokemon Go banning people. You guys might be confused as to what's going on, what the FTC has to do with a video game, but I'll get to that shortly. Over 70 Pokemon Go players have filed complaints with the Federal Trade Commission since the mobile game was released in July. And you might say, wow, that's not really a lot, just 70 people. I mean, what, there were, like, how many people playing the game? It's the most popular free-to-play mobile game on both iOS and Android Marketplace for a very long time, for several months, in fact. So 70 people? Not that big of a deal. Except, the problem is that even one complaint needs to be investigated. This is a government organization. This is their job. They are here for that and that alone. Polygon had reported that 72 complainants, 56 of them were directed at the developer of Neontech Labs, and the rest were directed at Nintendo and the Pokemon Company. Players have a few different grievances, and the largest resolving around money, wanting to uh, get resolution with the amount of money they spent. One player had noted that their account was banned without any warning after they spent nearly $450 on Pokemon Go, as Neontech began blocking third-party apps and accounts that were using those apps, which is what I alluded to earlier saying that people were wanting refunds and they were upset and trying to file complaints with the FTC. This basically revolves around did Pokemon Go, Nintendo, uh, the Pokemon company explicitly state that if you use a third party application with this game, your account will be banned. You will not be able to play this game. Did they say that in their terms of service? Because this isn't on a 3DS. This isn't on a platform that is governed and controlled by those rules. If you've ever done a 3DS update, it will tell you in the terms of service if you use any outside devices they could damage and or cause Nintendo to block your system, which pretty much means it's a brick. It just sits on your desk and does nothing because you didn't listen to them. So things like action replay or R4 carts and stuff like that, that's what would cause that to happen. Now here, it's a little bit different because they don't have that to fall back on. This is cell phone territory. This is uh, application territory. This is smartphone devices. This isn't their devices. So unless they explicitly wrote it in the game itself, when users signed in with Pokemon Go, got on in with Pokemon Go, and when they created their character, it said, hey, by the way, if you don't read this, you know, you could get banned. Uh, by the way, if you accept this, you accept our terms of service. And if it's not in those terms of service to not use a third-party app, then there might actually be a case here. They might actually get refunds. Though $450 isn't really that much money. I bet you, uh, you know, I bet you a lot that Neontech would rather just pay this guy off and have him go away and these 70 people go away rather than keeping this up in the news because it, it makes their company look bad. In the end, what ended up happening is that people use third-party apps without knowing or knowingly knowing that their application, Pokemon Go game, and their profile would eventually be banned. Maybe some of them did and they were just playing the odds, but either way, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to use third-party apps with any game that you know. As gamers, we know this. We know that you can't use Game Sharks or things like that in this digital age. They will detect you unless it's an absolutely single-player experience with no internet connectivity. Because if you do, then you are giving yourself some type of edge against everyone else. And on top of that, even if you're not banned for using those cheats and hacks in a single-player experience, most of the time, if you try to show off what you've done with your cheats and hacks, you you will probably be shamed by the gaming community because you're not doing it legitly. So ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have had issues with Pokemon Go being banned and spending money, my own personal advice would be either don't spend the money or don't pay full price. I don't have much else to say about this, guys. Be careful out there, be careful with your money, and that's all I have to say. You guys have yourselves a great day, and as always, good gaming and God bless. I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out.